Hello YouTube and welcome Diecast family. Today, today let's check out a bunch of running on empty from Greenlight. Plus we got a couple other exclusives. I thought they were fitting because uh, the running on empty are usually uh, sponsored vehicles. So a couple exclusives or a couple sponsored vehicles. So thought it all be fitting. Of course I can't find my knife. There it is. We'll use a uh, Martin Create Custom Creations uh, knife. It's actually an Ethan Growl knife. I've seen this sold under other names. Absolutely love the fidgety action of this knife. Flings right open. But first, we'll take a look at the 1995 Ford Escort RS Cosworth. Car I really love from Greenlight. I think I have all the variations of this so far. Now, I've had quite a few people ask me where I've been and if I was alright. I really appreciate that. Uh, truth be told, I haven't been feeling good lately. Uh, I dislocated my jaw somehow. I don't even know how I did it. Uh, that was a, in a lot of pain uh, for a couple weeks or more until that healed, and uh, I almost think I may have done it yawning, so uh, be really careful when you yawn, but uh, I really don't have any idea how I dislocated it, but uh, it was excruciating pain for like three weeks, uh, I it was tough for me to eat any food or anything, um, it was just, I've never had nothing like that happen to me, so it just sucks getting older. Uh, I don't even really know how it happened to me. It just happened one day. And then uh, I was still recovering from that. And uh, I heard a few ribs at work. I don't know if I bruised them really good or if I cracked them or broke them or what. But uh, that caused me excruciating pain. And then I wasn't able to sleep or nothing. And then working 12-hour days, six days a week doesn't really leave much time in the day for me to do much of anything else that I need to get done or have to get done on a daily basis. So I just really haven't had time and haven't really been feeling that good. Uh, hopefully I'm back. Hopefully I can start making my videos uh, normally again. So sorry I haven't posted nothing for a while. Uh, don't worry. I will be posting a lot of stuff. I still buy diecast and have a lot of stuff to show and share with you guys so my collection is still growing uh, i haven't opened anything because i've been waiting to make a video so i do have quite a bit of stuff that has piled up so make sure you hit the like button and the subscribe button and uh that back rim or the tire definitely looks like it has an issue there I think it's just, uh, yeah, it peeled off. It was a little extra rubber on the tire. Looks like it peeled off. But really, really awesome casting from Greenlight. They're just killing it with the castings. I did not get the whole set of this. I'm missing two of them. Not sure what two I'm missing, but uh, two I guess I didn't really care about. Looks like the 1954 Ford I might be missing. Uh, not sure. But we got the 2021 Chevy Corvette Stingray Coupe. In a shell racing livery. 
pretty much only picked this one up because I'm probably going to pick all these up. The 2021 Corvettes. I think they'll look pretty cool lined up next to each other. Especially all the different racing themes. This one does have a rubber band on it. Sorry about that. There we go. Got the rubber band off. So this is definitely a casting you're going to want to open. Be weary if you buy anything with rubber bands at a flea market that sit out in the sun. They will definitely be melted and stuck to the paint. Could damage it when you take it off. Really awesome casting though. Uh, a lot of people don't realize it. Oh, I don't know if it does on this one. The motor compartment opens up on this, but it might not on this variation because uh, it didn't leave much room between the spoiler and the opening. I don't want to break the spoiler off trying to open the back, but it does open, which on these Corvettes is where the engine's located. Really, really freaking awesome. They made a mid-engine Corvette. Absolutely love this thing. If I would buy a brand new vehicle right now for 70, 80, 90,000, it would definitely, definitely be this. Just so awesome. American car company made a mid-engine car that's affordable, unlike the GT40, which is the only other American car company I know that made a mid-engine car. And I'm not talking about like a Pontiac Fiero or uh, the Celine S7 and stuff like that because those were limited runs. They weren't a production vehicle. Even the GT40, you could say, is a limited run. Uh, it's not really a production vehicle. Not like a C8 Corvette or... Anyways, let's move on to the next one I got from the Running on Empty Series 13 will be the 1967 Mercury Cougar XR7 Trans Am race car. Of course, I picked it up for the Golf Racing Collection. Try and pick up any casting they put out in the golf racing. Absolutely love the golf racing deco. Probably my favorite racing livery. Of course, I do absolutely love the Falcon racing. Really cool Mercury Cougar. Got lens tail lights. No headlights. Does have a opening hood. The big old V8 under there. Of course, all green lights you do get metal base and rubber tires. And the next one is going to be a 2021 Ford Bronco Sport Rally winner. Pretty cool. This is from the Running on Empty Series 13.
freaking awesome. Love the decals on it. And the next one we have is going to be a uh, green light exclusive, a hobby, 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 <laughs> a hobby exclusive, I guess. And it's in the golf racing and it's going to be a 1969 Chevy C30 Dually Wrecker. Pretty cool. There's also a dirty variation of this I need to pick up. This knife is definitely slicing through the packaging extremely well. Better than the steak knife I've used for the past six years. I'm sure the steak knife's pretty darn dull and could use a good sharpening though. It's opened up probably several thousand die cast packaging. At least several thousand. Definitely need to pick up the dirty variation of this one. And the next one's going to be a Cream Light Hobby 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 exclusive. The Falcon Tires. And it's going to be the 21 Ford Bronco Sport, which we just seen in the rally winner. And, of course, just like the golf racing livery, I will pick up absolutely anything they put out in the Falcon. So I usually don't pick up all the running on empties, but I always pick up the running on empties that I collect the racing liveries on, don't matter what the casting is. Absolutely love the Falcon Racing, though. Oh, that's all I got to show you right now. Just to look at some really, really freaking awesome new green lights. I was wrong about this car. This is a Johnny Lightning. Thanks to one of my viewers for pointing that out. One of my longtime viewers and one of my good friends for pointing this out to me. But this is a Johnny Lightning variation. I did end up picking up another one. So we'll crack this open in another video. So this is an older Johnny Lightning, but very well done. And I'm not a hundred percent, but I'm pretty sure this is the same same one I have weathered. Uh, so it's 2014. I don't know, man. My phone that writing is teeny tiny too. 2004. So pretty old. But we'll check that out in another video. Man, Greenlight was killing it back then. Or Johnny Lightning. Greenlight wasn't even invented, I don't think, in 2004. I think they were more 2007, 2008 for some reason. But they had some really awesome Johnny Lightning uh, 
Dukes of Hazard cars back then. They did them all, too. And uh, they go for crazy money. But we'll compare this in a different video. We'll compare it to the weathered one here. But take a look at both of these Ford Broncos up here together. Let me know down in the comments which one was your favorite out of these. Mine's going to have to be the Falcon one. Then the couple green light. Pretty cool. Get a old tow truck. The Golf. But. Thanks for watching. Have an awesome day.